Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the P4070 and we're looking at how to set your controls up for the P47. So, we're going to go escape from in-game, you can also get here from your main menu. We're going to go adjust controls, make sure you select in here the P47D30 sim. Note, there will be other versions of the P47D coming out, but at the moment... We've only got the 30 so it's sim. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to show you the buttons that I've decided to buy into my HOTAS, my X56 Logitech. So you know which buttons I'm binding. I'm also going to show a diagram here showing which button is called what. That way you can see exactly where I'm binding everything on my stick. If you've got an X56, then you can copy that directly if you want. If you've got a Warthog or something else, you can copy that as closely as you want. The best thing you're going to gain from this video is it's telling you which controls you should bind and roughly where you should bind them. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to go to Axis Commands as ever. Let's see what we've got to bind. Now, I've already got mine bound here, so we're just going to be uh, uh, looking at them. For the columns here, we've got the action, and there are hundreds of actions, but we only need about 20 actually bound to fly the plane properly. Here is the category that that action belongs to. Here is the keyboard bind that that action is set to. Here is the half of my HOTAS. This is actually the stick on the right here. These are my CH Pro pedals, which I'm going to use for brakes and for rudder. And here is the other half of my HOTAS, the, uh, the throttle quadrant. So first of all, pitch. And I'm going to have that bound to the forwards and back motion of the stick. Bind something, by the way. Double click on the appropriate box in the appropriate column. I'll just do this one again. Push the stick forward, pull it back so it finds joystick Y like we've got there. Out of interest, you can also choose from that, but it's best to do it, like I said. Okay, you can test it and watch the movement of the bar just to make sure it works. And then I'm going to go to Axis Tune because you will want to add Axis Tune to your pitch, to your rudder, and to your roll. And Axis Tune, I would suggest a curvature of plus, not minus, plus 25 or thereabouts. It will vary differently with sticks and personal taste. And that's what we've got. If the red dot is outside of the box, black box when your stick is in a neutral position it means that it's got some uh, dead zone problems in which case you can add some dead zone to encompass the red dot okay you don't have to but it's just something i'll suggest and that's pretty much it next roll is going to be exactly the same but it's for the left and right of the stick rudder oh if i can get down here oh my pussycat is sleeping under the rudder pedals as it turns out so i'm not going to be able to show you but that is going to be the rudder left and right. You can see that wiggling. That is literally her breathing. That's a bit weird. Next, with my pedals, I've got the left pedal, toe brake, is that there. And the right pedal, toe brake, is that there. You will need differential braking to fly this aircraft properly. So I would suggest, even if you don't have pedals, set some buttons or something up to the left wheel brake and right wheel brake. It's definitely the best thing to do. Very hard to operate without it. Next, I've got my throttle quadrant here. I've obviously got the throttle. I've just bound it there. Do not want any curve adding to that. And you will want to zoom view. You will all struggle to fly without the ability to zoom in and look at things in detail. I've got uh, what you can see. I don't need to tell you what that is. It's that knob on the top right, as you can see in the diagram. That's my axis commands done. And I scratch it. Sorry, one more. I forgot to say. I've bound an axis to my engine RPM slash propeller pitch so this is one of these knobs down here that you can see and you can see i bound it to that one there that i'm turning and you'll be able to see that on my detail there okay now i'm going to go to all first we're going to look at the more binary type buttons on the quarter quadrant and then we'll do the stick so we're going to want flaps and this is quite an important one so you can see the button i'm pressing here on the right of the throttle quadrant we've got 24 which is the up position of that button and down button we've got 26 there these are the flaps now there are lots of flap commands but the ones you want i suggest are extend hold neutral release and retract hold neutral release what that means is when you press and hold that part of the button it will blow the flaps and then when you release the button back to its neutral position which is how this button works it will go back to neutral and that is literally how it works in the plane so that's what i suggest you use you don't have to but i strongly suggest that that's how you do it Next, and this is a real useful one to have, start it engage. You will have to have something bound to start engage. I've got a keyboard bind and I've got a button bind, binary button bound there. It's just how you have to start the aircraft, okay? 
Also on the throttle quadrant, uh, it's not really fashionable, but it is really useful to have a start procedure, which is like an auto start and a stop procedure. And that means you can go and make your cup of tea while your aircraft is automatically starting. That's the throttle quadrant. Now let's go over to the control stick. So obvious ones first, we're going to have our trigger to fire our machine guns and our, what I call our secondary trigger, as you can see there, is going to be button three for me, it's going to be our bomb release. Then the top hats, uh, sorry, the four-way hats on top of the stick, as you can see, the top right one is going to be my trim and it's going to have trim elevator up, down, left and right. There is the option for rudder trim and I do suggest putting rudder trim in as well because it is a rudder trim heavy aircraft. It does not like any yaw slip I've noticed. I just haven't got around to finding a button for it yet, but that's something I will add in uh, when I can figure out where to put it. Uh, next, uh, where should we go next? Let's look at the bottom right four-way switch on the top of the control stick. As you can see, the up is going to be cows open and cows back. This is how we cool the engine down manually, mainly used on the ground because obviously you need to encourage cooling. It can be used in the air, I think, for climb and that's pretty much more or less the only regime I think you can actually use cows. We'll see, I haven't fully explored that yet. On the left and right movement of this four-way hat, we've got gun sight, range of target, decrease and increase that's really useful that is the equivalent of turning the throttle handle which is a ranger which changes uh, sorry uh, i mean there's a little knob there uh, kind of under there on the gun side it's something you'll constantly be pressing while gunning and so um, it's something you're going to want set up next on the left four-way hat switch the up and down position are a mixture up and down uh, it's probably the best way to say it's that lever there the red one you can have it as an axis i think but it's best to have it uh, like a binary button like this because you, it works in notches. There's a notch there, a notch there, a notch there, and a notch there. And uh, that's definitely worth binding. And the left and right movement of the switch, we've got oil call a shutter increase and decrease. I bound that because in most planes, an oil, a manual oil shutter is useful. I haven't actually found a reason to use it yet. And so this may come off and make way for the rudder trim. I haven't fully decided yet. That's where we are at the moment and that's pretty much it controls wise it is a pretty simple plane i thought it was going to be tough but it's not another one a useful one here is your compass to talk if you're not using easy communications and you may want to bind that to your stick so that's setting up the p47d at early access uh, june 2020 i hope you find that useful and see you later